Today, we are taking over the Utah Jazz and moving around some players. In this video, we'll be trading away Donovan Mitchell. I want to try to bring the Jazz back to the playoffs, back to the finals, and win them a championship. Now, over the last couple of days, weeks, a lot of stuff has happened in the NBA. Everyone's talking about the Utah Jazz right now because they announced they are looking to trade away Donovan Mitchell. Now, what's crazy to me is that Donovan Mitchell has been in playoffs every single year of his career since he's been drafted. He's had a terrific career so far, but the Jazz Jazz feel like it is time to move on and they are looking to move them. There's been rumors with the New York Knicks. There's been rumors over with the Miami Heat. OKC is even trying to get a part of it as almost like a four team trade. Some people have said, hey, Donovan Mitchell's the piece to send Kevin Durant to another team and some team gets Donovan another team. It's really confusing. There's a lot of weird mock trades out there. Now, this team isn't necessarily bad now that they've lost Rudy Gobert, though. I feel like they have gotten worse. A lot of people rag on Rudy Gobert, say he's awful say he's barbecue chicken whatever you want to call him i still think he's a pretty decent defender not amazing he's not like as good as everyone makes him up to be but he's better than hassan whiteside now the trade i'm going to end up taking is this darius garland and kevin love for donovan mitchell trade darius garland he's an 87 he's young only four years younger than donovan mitchell but he's still pretty young and kevin love he's always a great great sixth man in these simulations now i'm going to package mike conley and patrick beverly for another player there's been a couple of options but they're not great but this one i like right here is for chris middleton so we're going to go ahead and accept it we're going to continue to rob the bucks and i'm trading bogdanovich and clarkson for drew holiday and javon carter and you know the team's not going to be amazing we're just basically the milwaukee bucks with darius garland instead of Giannis. Our next move is Hassan Whiteside, Malik Beasley, and a future first for Clint Capella and Skylar Mays. Don't care about Skylar Mays or the first round pick, but I will take Clint Capella. And the team's looking pretty solid. I kind of like the rotation. We have a starting lineup of Garland, Drew Holiday, Chris Middleton, Kevin Love, Clint Capella, and then off the bench, well, nobody. Literally nobody is off the bench because our bench sucks. So let me make a couple of bench moves and improve the squad. I think I'm going to go into free agency and sign someone like Boogie Cousins or who knows. I'm going to trade away Trent Forrest, Skylar Mays for Torrey Craig and a second round pick. Nothing crazy, but got to include it in the video. Now, the reason I did that is because I needed to free up one roster spot to sign DeMarcus Cousins. So I'm going to sign him for one deal and bring a Boogie to Utah. Next, I'm going to send over Rudy Gay and George Hill to aging veterans for Luke Kennard and a second round pick from the Los Angeles Clippers. Luke Kennard, he's going to help stretch the floor with that second unit, and it'll be fun to see him shoot lights out. I mean, we won't really see anyone because it's a rebuild. We're not going to sit here and watch. You get what I'm saying. I'm just going to accept the trade and move on. I'll now be moving to former Suns players for another Suns former player, and I think the, uh, did DJ Augustine play for the Suns? I don't know. For some reason, I feel like he did, but he, he definitely didn't. doesn't matter. We're going to Isaiah Thomas on the team. The GOAT. The midget GOAT. That will do it for the first season of trades i know the team isn't a superstar type team we got garland we got drew holiday we got chris middleton kevin love clint capella and then off the bench we got boogie cousins we got luke Kennard, vanderville it and eric pascal he's not gonna get any minutes i know there's no 90 overall but i think this team could be good and make the playoffs so we're gonna simulate a season i'll see you guys in the off season the playoffs whatever happens hopefully the squad does good at the end of the first season luca is your mvp as always this should come as no surprise he's overpowered and NBA 2K22. Jaden Ivey wins Rookie of the Year, which happens fairly often while using the new roster. That's cool to see. I'm a big Jaden Ivey fan. Andre Drummond is your sixth man of the year, putting up prime Andre Drummond numbers. Giannis is your defensive player. Most improved goes to Tyrese Maxey and Quinn Snyder. Yeah, we didn't fire him in this universe, but it doesn't matter. He won Rookie or Coach of the Year. Uh, rookie of the Year, Quinn Snyder, though. Shout out to him, leading us the way, giving us the great coaching we need. And uh, we also won Executive of the Year, which is Patrick Long. Uh, let me know what's wrong with this photo right here because that's not no man named Patrick. That is Frank Vogel, and apparently he's the general manager or the executive of the Utah Jazz. I don't, I don't know how that makes sense. Although we were the very best team in the Western Conference, none of our players made a single All NBA team. Darius Garland led us in scoring with 23 points a game. Chris Middleton with 19, Drew Holiday with 16, Clint Capella with 14, Kevin Love with 13. 
Boogie Cousins with 10, IT with 8, which is shocking. I didn't think he'd outplay Luke Kennard, but I'll take it because I love me some Isaiah Thomas action. Clint Capella led our team in blocks over for the steals. Drew Holiday, of course, defensive menace. Darius Garland led the way with assists. Clint Capella the way with rebounds. And then I said earlier, but points, Darius Garland. So the team did pretty well. We had a record of 57 and 25, which made us the best team in the Western Conference. Only one game ahead of the Golden State Warriors, but we're still number one. And all that matters is if we're number one. Although if you've ever watched any 2K video ever that focuses on my league, you may know that the first seed isn't always safe. I've seen so many eight seeds end up winning. I've seen eight seeds go all the way to the finals. But right here, looks like we're about to. No, we're not going to gentlemen sweep. We are. If we lose a 3-0 lead, if we lose a 3-0 lead or a 3-1 lead, I think it was a 3-0 lead. Utah, Utah, please. It's not. Listen, listen, this is if you lose to Rudy Gobert in the first round, this is going to be in bed. That's right. That's right. Stomp Rudy into the ground. Stomp. That's right. That's right. Darius Garland, 35 points. The Utah Jazz get revenge on Rudy Gobert. Absolute scrub. Not even a single block out of Rudy Gobert. D'Angelo Russell and Anthony Edwards had more blocks than Rudy Gobert and more steals. So who's the real defensive player of the year? You let me know down below. Anthony Edwards or Rudy Gobert? Who's better defensively? Round two, we're going up against the Grizzlies. John ja Morant, I'm on my Grizzlies. Shout out J. Cole. Speaking of John ja Morant, if you've never seen my video where I put John ja Morant on a team of middle schoolers because he was tweeting like a middle schooler, go check it out. It's a really funny video. And we have made it to the conference final by the way didn't even really notice as I was rambling and uh, over on the other side is Boston versus Milwaukee which Milwaukee is literally the graveyard of Utah somehow Mike Conley and Bogdanovich and Clarkson are outscoring Giannis maybe I shouldn't have traded them maybe they would have led us to a title but we might still get a title either way as we are up 2-0 on the Clippers now 2-1 they win game three they win game four we win game five and hopefully we win game six we are in the finals versus the Utah Jazz Graveyard. So this matchup is really cool to see because a lot of our good players have come from the Milwaukee Bucks. We've traded a lot of our older players from the Jazz to the Bucks. They have Mike Conley. They have Jordan Clarkson. They have Bogdanovich. And we have Drew Holiday and Chris Middleton. I'd say we have the better players out of the two. Swip, swap. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. Let's just get into this. Game one, who's going to win? The Bucks win game one. We gain, win game two. Oh my, can't even speak English. We win game three. The Utah Jazz win game four. Four, and we have won an NBA championship in our first season. The rebuild is complete. All you got to do is replace Darius or replace Donovan Mitchell with Darius Garland and a couple of Bucks players, and they win the championship. Darius Garland is your Finals MVP, averaging 22 points, five rebounds, eight assists, and two steals. We did really well this season, by the way. I was not planning on winning in the first season most of the time when I do rebuilds. Which, by the way, this is my first rebuild in almost a year. So if you do enjoy this kind of content, please subscribe, like. It helps a ton. I'm trying to grow the channel to 5k by the end of the year. I know that's a long shot, but I do think we can do it. So if you enjoy my league, enjoy rebuilds, enjoy basketball, please hit that sub button. It would be appreciated. I want to do more rebuilds throughout the year uh, in 2K23 and 22 because I barely did any this year, which is really sad. Joe Johnson retires. He was on the Timberwolves for some godforsaken reason. I'm fine. I'll mess with it as long as he retires with a job on a team. George Hill, he was on our team for about 10 seconds of the video, and he's now retired as well. We have no money. Our best bet at signing anyone is Lou Will and JaVale McGee. I don't really need anyone. Uh, pa Pascal, I thought I, I thought I resigned you. I guess I didn't. I'm going to now. Uh, Demarcus Cousins, Isaiah Thomas, I'll bring back them both. But DJ Augustine, you can walk. Neither Isaiah Thomas or Demarcus Cousins wanted to come back, so we're gonna bring in Lou Will. I'm also gonna sign Javale McGee, who I believe just got an absolute bag. I can't remember where he signed. I think it was the Mavericks in real life, and he got paid much more than I ever expected Javale McGee to get paid. So shout out to Javale McGee, one time at Shaq in a fool and. VP. Our core is pretty much staying, so I don't need to sign many guys, but one guy I saw in free agency that I couldn't help but bring to the team is the GOAT, Tony Snell. He deserves a ring, so we're going to get him a gosh darn ring. By the way, Scottie Pippen Jr. is way too good on these rosters, so be warned, because I'm pretty sure this dude is like, yeah, he's a top-tier prospect, 
and uh, he averaged 10 and 8 last year. I don't know why Scottie Pippen's kid is Jesus, but he is. Drew Holiday is already regressing quite a bit. I think he went down three overalls in the last season, so at the beginning of the season, I'm going to try to move him and maybe improve our bench a little bit. Move guys like Jared Butler. How did Dante Exum find his way back on the team? You know what, Dante Exum? Shout out to the Australian. Shout out to Kangaroos. Shout out to Spotted Dick. Welcome back to the team, Dante Exum. I'll keep you with Tony Snell just because you're funny, dude. There is not a lot of good trades for Drew Holiday at all, so I figured, hey, if we're going to lose Drew Holiday, let's pick up another defensive player. So I'm going to be picking up Jonathan Isaac, but I am going to be doing a little experiment with Jonathan Isaac, which you'll see once we are done doing some trades, once I'm at the lineup. But he's going to be on the team, and I have an idea. I don't know if it will work, but I'm definitely going to try it as we trade away Jared Butler, some other guys. If you don't know, Terrence Ross is a big My Team guy. He streams on Twitch. He plays Tarkov, uh... NBA. He just played a lot of games over on Twitch. He was really excited. He got a Dark Matter the other day, and it ended up being absolutely trash. So, shout out to Terrence Ross. I'm sorry they did you dirty like that, because you're a massive fan of the mode. And then they just give your card the worst uh, possible everything. We're going to go ahead. We're going to get uh, Terrence Davis right here. And a second round pick. Welcome to the team, Terrence Davis. I had him on Fantasy this year, expecting him to be amazing, and he sucked. So, that was disappointing. I didn't make a lot of changes, not a lot of moves, but I am happy with how the team is right now and the experiment i was talking about is i'm gonna run jonathan isaac as shooting guard we already won a championship and this could turn into like a dynasty type rebuild but i don't really it don't matter to me i just want to see how good this team does with jonathan isaac at the two so we're gonna simulate the regular season i'll see you guys in the offseason when we see mvp rookie of the year defensive player of the year playoffs all that stuff you know how it be holy cow whoever made this roster hit my dms i think i'm in love with you because i've never seen jason tatum mvp before right now so shout out jason tatum Wins MVP, that's dope to see. Victor Wenin Yamba of the Rockets wins your Rookie of the Year. Nikola Jovic is your Sixth Man of the Year, averaging 19 off the bench for Memphis. I don't know why he's not in Miami, but shout out to him. And Jonathan Isaac, the experiment I would say worked. He is your Defensive Player of the Year, averaging 9, 6, 3, 2, and 2. He had a really good season at shooting guard. Most of room player Nikola Jovic, and once again, we are Coach of the Year. A little bit worse of a record. Actually, it might have been the same exact record. I do not remember, but hey, we had a good good season. I'm not complaining, and I think we might be able to win another championship. Darius Garland also made an All-NBA team this year, which is awesome to see the squad's doing good. Now, if we lose win it doesn't matter this will be the last season of the video so the video is not 40 hours long we're playing the clippers in the first round i'm not worried at all except to the fact that we were down 2-0 but we're gonna come oh, we're down 3-1 we're down 3-1 don't lose down don't don't come back down 3-1 please please come okay okay we're in a game seven here we go game seven against the utah or against the clippers we are the utah jazz we beat them last year in the conference finals so i don't see us lose uh, am i lying am i a big fat liar is little codeine a big fat liar little codeine is a big fat liar we lost i saw why paul george ends up dropping 27 points in game seven beats the jazz at home and we lose in the very first round to the clippers how disappointing what a sucky end to the season like how does that happen the pacers are your champions i mean hey tyrese what's up shout out to tyrese alberton i'm bringing back a majority of the main squad everyone stayed practically the same chris middleton's gone down like one or two overalls jonathan isaac went up one i moved him to small forward i moved eric to power forward i moved jared to small forward luke's still a shooting guy I have, like everyone's here no one's really going down besides javel mcgee but i got kelly olenek to be our backup big man not the perfect backup big man so i'll probably try to find a trade for them to find us a better backup big but other than that like the team set i'm gonna do a third season simply because i'm really upset we didn't win last year trading for theo maldon or teo i don't know how his name is pronounced i thought it was pronounced weird maybe it's not we're gonna trade for him he's not gonna stay on the team i'm gonna flip him instantly for a better center but he was really cheap so i figured why not pick him up and then flip him again i'm gonna trade him away for aaron gordon i know our cap space is huge it's whatever it's all through trades we're fine it don't matter it don't matter at all aaron gordon welcome to the team he might actually start over kevin love i know he's not a center he's a power forward it's fine it works it don't matter the lineup the rotation we're fine we're cooling we're vibing terrence davis you are not my starting shooter guard for some odd reason i just want jonathan isaac there so guess what he's gonna play there aaron gordon you're gonna get a little bit more minutes but nothing crazy but hey listen squad's looking good darius garland he's been great i mean 26 and 8 last season is nuts so i'm happy with the squad i think we can win a championship this year uh i'm really tempted to just not play vanderville i might move him 
uh, and Luke because they both trash. So I'm going to move both of them real quick and find a better AD overall guy. We are trading for Chris Paul and Ty Jerome. I don't really care about Ty Jerome, but the fact that we're getting an 85 overall Chris Paul is pretty cool. I get he's 38 years old, but he's going to play better than Luke Kennard and Jared Vanderbilt. Not hard to do. The lineup is now Chris Paul, Darius Garland, Middleton, Aaron Gordon, Clint Capella, Jonathan Isaac, K-Love, Pascal, Terrence Davis, and Kelly Olenek is going to get zero minutes because I don't want him playing on my basketball court. I'll see you guys at the end of the regular season. Hopefully this team does good. So far, we are not starting off so hot. We're like one and two. That's not even how math works. I don't know how to count. We are a one and seven, I believe. So not the greatest start of the season and we have to fill out automatic i don't care i don't care adjust rotation manually uh no just keep the regular rotation cool keep going keep simming so the jonathan isaac experiment isn't working so i'm gonna go get bam on the team why not? You know, Bam Abadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadab